Hello everyone, this is Scabcat242. So I thought I would talk a little bit about, I guess my little short history in kit bashing one 18 scale action figures. So I, well, I guess I can kind of say it kind of goes back, I guess way back when I used to play with Legos. And, and I know that's a completely different figure line, but I used to have fun just swapping the parts out of minifigs. So I'll give you examples, so I would just Swap out the arms, hands, heads, the torsos. But I still do that now, but not as much. But let's jump start to now. And I mostly the modern G.I. Joe lines, like the 25th anniversary and onwards, I kit bashed a lot of those figures. Now, when I first started, I mostly just did simple head swaps. Like this one right here is the 25th anniversary Lady J, and that head was from a Golden Compass figure, and I made my own custom bomb stripe figure. And I did swap out the legs from another figure. Then over here, here's another head swap. That's my Resolute Scarlet with a different head. And then that is my custom roadblock from the 50th line. I just swapped out a head. Put that on the 50th heavy duty body. Thought it looked pretty good. And then there's my stiletto, which I Got a Marauder's Task Force head and put it on that figure because the original one was horrible. And here's my custom Outback. That head came from the 50th one. Put that on the Retaliation Joel Colton body. It looked pretty good. And then just to make him stand out more, I gave him some gear from Marauder's Task Force. So, one of the things I realized, I could only get so far with just swapping out parts from Joe's, like heads, legs, arms, you feel like it's so far. So down the road, I experimented and just starting to see about swapping parts by splitting the figures apart. So cracking them open, switching out the arms, putting them on different torsos, and overall I had pretty good success. So this was one of the, I think not the first ones, but this is my custom Falcon so I basically took parts from the Retaliation Mouse, the 50th Beachhead, and just swapped out parts. And I think I like this one a lot more. That's Falcon right there. And this one right here is an unnamed character. I think the arms came from the 50th uh, Cobra Eel. And I put them on a spare skydive figure that I had. And I think that's the... Rise of Cobra Charbroil that I put on. So overall, I liked how that came out. And then this was an original character I made myself. I just took a bunch of different Joe parts. That head and helmet's from Marauder's figure. Same thing for that vest. I actually... I took apart the figure, painted it, and glued it back together. Came out pretty okay. I haven't done a figure like this in a while. Kind of want to get back in the habit of painting figures again. And then when Marauders when got into that, that just made customizing figures much more easier because all you got to do is just buy their figure. They have places where you can place all their accessories on, the vest. And I kind of took that a step further. Um, there was a site I discovered called Shapeways, and actually we'll provide a link to that. It's a special attachment device where you can attach a torso and the lower legs from a uh, boss fight studios figure to a Marauder's Task Force body. So in order to do that, you have to like crack open the lower legs, put that part in, and you'll be able to put a, um, a boss fight's uh, upper body on there. And that's how I made this figure. And that's also how I made my custom cover girl. So yeah, I will provide links if, if, for those who are curious about that. And they, they also sell um, special neck pegs so, so those heads can fit on the Boss Fight Studio. So yeah, just wanted to talk a little bit about my joys of kit bashing figures. Still do it. I generally find I have a lot more appreciation for the figures when I swap out parts. So 
feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, do you swap out heads or parts on your figures? Do you make your own custom characters? Or do you just leave them the way hell they are? I'm curious to know. So, if you enjoyed, uh, thank you. And I will have more videos along the way.